Alrighty, so in this video we're going to pretty much focus on getting our actual window set up so that way it fits to our screen, looks nice, and you know we can do things like clicking through and all that kind of stuff. Because currently, let me go ahead and run this and pull up CSGO. By the time it launches, we're met, well, we're met with this. You know, a window that's not full screen by default, we have to manually do it, that's not transparent, that has a title window that we can't click through or anything like that. So that's what we need to fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the window floating, non-resizable, make sure it's maximized, transparent, and then we're going to disable the decoration. So what the decoration is, that is the, uh, the title bar. So like where it says, dear, I'm GUI, like this little bar up top, that's what it's going to disable. So the way we do this is by doing what's called glfw hints. So what I mean is glfw window hint, then you give it the hint name. So glfw underscore, for example, here's transparency. So transparent frame buffer, then the value, and in our case, we want it to be transparent, so we're gonna do true. So we're gonna do a bunch more of these. So we have floating, so Let's just search for floating. So GLFW floating, true, non resizable. So resize, there it is. GLFW resizable. I'm going to set that to false. We want to make sure it's maximized. GLFW maximized. Set that to true. And we already have transparency, so we're gonna leave that. So now when we open it up, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so obviously some of these things didn't take effect. Most importantly, the uh, transparency buffer seemed to do nothing. So let's see. Getting and setting our width, height, Setting all that before we actually create the window. Nothing else up there. So I'm going to just do a rebuild solution. And launch it. Okay. So it might be partially due to our I'm GUI setup. So let's see what might be causing that issue. Alrighty. Oops, and I pressed F10. Alright, so... I did a little bit of digging, and after scrolling down, I see where we are actually setting the color of the background. That is something we don't want to do because we're trying to make it transparent, so we're kind of overwriting what we're trying to do. So I'm just going to delete this GL clear color. And then I don't think we are actually using clear color anymore, are we? So we should be able to go ahead and remove that variable that we have created. So now when I press F5, here we have our transparent window. We cannot click through it, which as it stands, that's what we want. And we have our button. We can interact with our window however we need. So we are good to go there. The only thing we have left is we have this title window up top that we want to get rid of. So we can do that by setting an attribute. So we want to do this after the window is created. If you do it before, I've noticed that nothing actually changes. So you want to make sure, one, the window gets created, and two, that it actually is valid. So the way we do that is glfw, set window attribute, then the window reference, or pointing to the window, which is window, then the attribute, which is glfw underscore decorated, then the value, which is false. So setting it to be not decorated is going to hide the window. So as you can see, you can't see anything. There's nothing indicating that there's even a window there. We have the, oh wait, we can click through it still. Well, not click through it, but pretty much the window is effective. So I'll keep clicking until about here. So I'll click up slowly and right there, right here the window stops so right at the tip of my mouse and that's fine because it's not really a big of a deal it's super far up top so even if someone's like directly above you 
you're you're gonna know it Otherwise, regardless you're gonna have like a box being partially drawn at the top of your screen they're so close to being out of view to where it just doesn't matter so now let's go ahead and close it and i cannot do that so let me drag this to the other monitor and close it so what i want to do for the time being the uh our little button that we create our mgui button i want to go ahead and make that so when i click it it just closes it so i'm gonna make it call it exit wrap it in an if statement because when it's clicked it returns true and then just simply do return zero so now i don't have to deal with that annoying crap i can just click exit and it closes itself down so as it stands right now we have our we have everything set up how we want we do want to have it set up so that we can easily make it so we can hide or not hide the window up sorry um uh, what do you call it show our little menu whenever we press like insert for example we want to make it so when the window is hidden that we can click through the window to, you know go to shoot move and all that kind of stuff and uh, that's pretty much it so i'm going to go ahead and create some helper functions and i'm actually going to create a dedicated header file just call it helper functions or we'll just do a header doesn't matter let's just call it helpers and let's go ahead and include helpers.h and what i want in this is i want a simple function Sorry, i couldn't type for some reason void show menu let's make it take in a pointer to the menu so glfw window window and another one called hide. So hide menu. So for now, I'm just going to print out some logs because that's not the purpose of this video. Showing menu. And hiding menu. So now we're going to set it up to the insert key. So inside of our loop. Uh, somewhere after we go to render. I'm just going to do if get a sync key state. Uh, let's do vk underscore insert and and one. That way it doesn't get spammed. Now we want to go ahead and actually include windows.h. Let's move up here. Include windows.h. There we go. And in here, we want to show and hide the menu. So we need kind of a, a basic control for this to indicate whether or not the menu is held or shown or hidden. So I'm going to simply do a check. So I'm going to have it up here after the window has been created. We can actually clean this little section up here. Let's move that into the if statement. And after that, we'll do actually everything right above the main loop. So bool b menu showing, or menu visible, set that equal to true by default. And inside of the get async key state, when we press insert, we're going to do menu visible equals the opposite of menu visible. And if menu is visible, what we want to do is show menu, pass in window, else we want to hide menu, and pass in window. And then what I'm going to do is if menu is visible, we draw our menu. So now, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Press insert, it hides, press it again, it shows. Hide, show, hide, show. So we're good to go there. Go ahead and exit. And that is going to be it for this video. And the next one we're going to go through, we're going to do some small stuff like allowing the mouse click through when the men menu is visible. And then we're going to go ahead and bring in our memory class. So that's going to be um, literally just an old uh, 
pretty much a wrapper for read and write process memory that I made a long time ago. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bring that in. And that's pretty much it. We're going to pretty much just format ourselves to make it easy. So when we go to actually interact with stuff in the game, it's simple and straightforward to do. So I will see you in the next video when we actually go and do that. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below where I create a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons that covers everything from point A to point B, where we cover the entire game mode along with some miscellaneous features. And if you have any questions or anything like that, you can also find a link to my Discord down below as well, and I'll try to answer anything you have to ask to the best of my abilities. So, I'll see you in the next video.